And today I have, um, well, I'm doing the mod today. Um, I've got the pot, like um, the motor mounts. Um, here's the motor mounts. Now, um, this is my cottage. This is the one that was in the fire, and the one that's white. Um, this one is incredibly heavy. Plus, and another motor receiver and plus two batteries so it's going to be a very heavy car now what I'm going to do to mod it is I'm going to chop this bit off so this bit will not be there it'll just have this here the actual mount itself I'm going to do exactly the same and out and it's going to match up with this um actual this actual screw I'm going to mount um drill a hole for another screw to go in and it's going to go like that, you know, that's how I do drilling and breaking stuff. Every car I think that needs to be bashed and that's just the thing me. Um, I bash this quite hard. Um, my dad's saying he go, he's a total RT speed freak like this. I am actually going to um, bring you over here so let's just do that very quickly. Yeah. Alright, um, first thing I'm going to remove will be this um, screw here, sorry wrong size, so yeah. Um, when you've done that, you need to remove this, sorry, uh, these two, well, these two parts here. Stuck in that look. <laughs> it was stuck in the um this little bit here. Um obviously this was right now. And I need to unscrew one more. Alright, sorry, this takes long. Um, now we should be able to slide this out. Oh, good sake. Another screw. Screws to hold it in. Um, alright, one more. Here's the motor plate. I'm going to quickly wash that off. And I'm going to um, chop this part off. So same with this one, um, so it's going to be like that, well like no, like that it's going to be, so you've got one motor here and one motor here and that's going to be the two um, parts in the middle here. So um, I'll be back when I just clean this off and cut two of these off. Um, I'm not going to film it, because, especially because I'm not allowed to do it upstairs and I've got nowhere else to film. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in seat. Here you go. Here's the, I forgot to clean them off, this one off, because it's an old one. Um, but I've got them too modded, like that. Oh, all right. Um, put the old motor back in. So. That you could just put any one back in because I'm like that. Sure, it's tight, it's not. Just 
um, I added the actual motor, like the motor's going to go here. Sorry, that's in the way. And if you can see, it's going to look beast. It's going to have two massive motors in it, 550 size. Um, it's huge. It's got big motors. Lots of torque. Um, yeah. So I'll wrap this up video up, for you guys. Um, I will just put you on to the um, tripod mount. I have just put the camera on the mount. Um, these big springs are stock, are drooping just a tiny bit, and oh, and the front ones <laughs> is uh, quite. It's a very heavy truck, car, whatever you like to call it. But I mean, seriously, <laughs> it's drooping so much. It does quite a bit. It's really stiff too. Can you go and subscribe to RC Crossfire and Aaron Backstar? They do really good content and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. But not just one, it's two, because I'm going to put dual motors in my FTX Carnage.